what's going on y'all we're back with another reaction video today we have the uh dolphins versus the raiders um two teams with some solid potential going into this season so looking forward to see how everything plays out if you're new to the channel hit the like button for me also subscribe drop a comment down below um if you want to catch live reactions hit the link in the description follow me on twitch going live weekly uh again drop a like on the video appreciate the support if there's any rookies y'all want me to check out just uh comment them down below let's get to it hitting a couple of passes early he's throwing Ooh, again that. This time. I'm, I'm watching y'all i'm watching y'all gotta keep gotta keep working man i like the blue hue on um on their jerseys uh like two Good catch. Okay. First down, it's Horstead. Tackled by Elijah Campbell. So the Raiders convert a third down on this drive. Now they convert a fourth down. So from third and 18 to a first down at the Dolphins' 26 yard line. Mm. White hit in the backfield. And that'll be a loss on the play. And Ginkle getting in there for Miami. White, the running back, gets the call, pushes the pile. Easy money drive. Touchdown, Las Vegas. DB is getting hurt. Well, that's impressive. Josh McDaniels likes it. Nearly intercepted by Nick Needham. And how everything changed after that. And the Dolphins actually got ahead of the sticks. They had a third and 18. Tyreek Hill will not play tonight, but we will see Tua try to knock some of the Ooh, off. Good Chase good Edmonds stop. is met by oh Gary my gosh. Butler, one of those undrafted free agents, a rookie trying to make a team. So oh, so Tua's playing. Okay. His yardage and Edmonds in it running back. Dolphins start at their own 40. Little play action. Chase is starting. With plenty of time. Fires. And he's got Sherfield inside Raider territory. Yeah, Chase, Chase Edmonds is starting running back. He found the hole in his zone and sat down and gave two a big target to deliver this football to. It's our it's our job to make practice difficult for the offense. Come on, come make on, move. Come on, Jason. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, you're right. No matter I thought it was gonna be like a step back, Juke. Right. I didn't see a span coming, but hey. Sanders on for the field oh goal, 46-yard nice. attempt after he was perfect last week. And Sanders looking for the bounce back year is money again. Kenzie Alexander, top of the screen, in a corner. Mullins wrapped up, and down he goes, and there is Gustin for the sack. Gustin, really Gustin. Name sounds familiar. Is he a rookie? Name Dallas sounds very familiar. Teddy Bridgewater, okay. Oh, my. Did he get it out? Intentional grounding. Did get rid of it and is an incomplete pass. Oh, that was oh. so close. Okay, okay. To a safety. Teddy Bridgewater running the offense. Larnell Coleman still in there. So they got about the end zone. Tackle. Michael Dieter in at center for the Dolphins. The blitz. And it's flipped down. Yeah, nice by shovel. Bridgewater. Complete job, Med. Now lose some yards on that. So the Raiders bring in the blitz. Yeah, hey, all over that. Second and ten. Bridgewater back to pass. Lots one. There we go. Again. There we go. Clapping it up and being Teddy Bridgewater's biggest supporter. A little trickery here. Yeah, here interesting play. Ooh, jeez, he blew that up. Raiders snuffed it out and Sean Bauer there to make the tackle. Yeah, he blew that up. About four. Third and long, Bridgewater. He can double team. Oh my. And that ball is loose. That's Abram. They'll say that's incomplete. It's good hit, five, dude. So They got a pretty. I ain't gonna lie. I might have to put the Dolphins in that conversation as far as uh, receiving or might. I gotta review them. Good pick. Oh, I thought I was gonna bounce bounce to somebody. That was a great play on the ball. Nine six, close game before the half. We got money. Okay. It's a good catch. And the rookie puts the Dolphins deep in Raiders territory. Has a comment to the far left. That's Gasicki in the slot. Bridgewater. Oh, good spin. Oh, good hit. Oh, my gosh. Making some nice hits. And here's the reason why. They end up, calling it, they end up blowing this play dead. When it was a clear recovery by Sam Webb, who had a chance to run down the sideline. They're always on Jeez. those tablets. They study a lot, yeah. looking at the players. So that technically was a fumble. Bridgewater. Let me see. I want to go back and see. 
Let's see. Caught it. And here's the reason why. They oh, yeah, he took, they end up took two steps, almost three. When it was a clear recovery by Sam Williams, That's who tough. had a chance to run down the sideline. Forgot most of their Miami. They, they, got, they got a nice, solid, solid the running back place. course. Bridgewater on third down. And that ball oh. sails on him, and it's incomplete. And the Raiders get three and out to start the second half. We got a third and four here for Garbers in a quarterback. Flushed out of the pocket. They'll run for it, and he'll get there. And more to the 25, to the 20, and out of bounds. All right, Garbers. You know, you always hear Coach McDaniel talking about operation and procedures and all the things like that. Getting lined up correctly, not covering a tight end, not having, uh, having enough guys in the line of scrimmage, and things like that. It's going to be tough to figure it out. Melvin Ingram, they brought over. And, you know, so Pass blocking got better. It's going to be tough to figure out how many you keep and, and how you can stash some of the young ones. Third and goal, and this time mm -hmm. they got Garber Skilly. The undrafted free agent out of Nebraska with a third down sack. Yeah, no doubt about that. I've been watching this training camp and throughout, and it seems like there's a, a focus mm. on fundamental and technique, especially when it comes to the offensive line. That's the game. That's the game of football. It, all come, it always comes back to the fundamentals. We're looking forward to seeing you mowing them down when you get in the regular season. Yeah. All right, take care. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Ron Armstead. He enjoyed that big play. Oh, my God. Now it's hot men. It's about finding these guys a home. What do they do very well? What can we count on them week in and week out to do? Ooh, good play. Bridgewater intended for Sanders, who nearly had it, but Ike Brown. See what they do. Bowden is in the slot here. And here's Bridgewater. Now, I haven't watched Niners Vikings yet. Pressured, and he is taken down. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know about that pass blocking, man. They, they getting in there. Teddy keep having to get out the pocket. And the Who is Bauer? Are you nice? Here on third and five. Oh, good catch. Wow. But Quincy Wilson and Cousins okay, Horstead hauls it in for a first down. Along with the rookies, Sanders and Ezekama. Skyler Thompson looking for Ezekama. Oh, Ezekama. my. Great catch. Oh my One hand, too. Ezekama with his fifth catch of the night from Thompson. Yeah, five catches. Just see Skyler Thompson drop back here and just send this thing out to the sideline. As it comes Ooh. back, the ball was underthrown. The, the DB, Chris Great Jones, kind of overruns Great play. It. One behind Solomon McKinley. And you're running back. He's in a right guard. They play action, though, and Thompson pressured, throws, complete. First down to Preston Williams. Well, they play action behind Solomon McKinley. Then what, a, what a job here by Skyler Thompson of buying time. Again, the focus with emphasis on this offense will be running the football. Play action, Skyler Thompson looking. He has White, and he holds it into the 10. Makes it oh, my. <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. As we call him a nice. I see his college highlights. Uh, I like his college highlights. So. Really good Looking forward to see how he, uh, how he gets involved and plays out. This is a good play. Good move. Staying in, getting in the end zone. Uh, I think it opened up for, for him, and it opened up for me, so... Um, and I think Waddle. Us and I short but long time together. It's been, it's been great. You guys are working wow. up together. Are, are you very competitive with right. each other? Oh, yeah, definitely. We definitely compete on, uh, you know, who can make a, a, a big play in our practice each day. So Five and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Dolphins up one. Garbers waiting still with time. Come on, get it out. Oh, He's my gosh. It's too long, bro. They finally got him. It's too long. Carney was in there. He's perfect. Not a great year last year, and he gives the Raiders the lead again. 15 13. I think Dolphins can do it. They can pull it out. Deep sideline. Ooh, great throw. Good hit. Oh, my God. The throw is on the money. That was nice. That was a combo. Eden. Thompson deep over the middle. Okay. They got a nice connection going on. Got a nice come on, rookie. Thompson over there. Back to him on the screen. And he's that didn't ball. work. Quickly. I was just hoping something worked out. I saw the defenders there already. I'm like, man, make some magic happen. Oh, 
Yes. And no good. Oh. First miss of the preseason for Sanders. Wow. Can he get the ball back? You got a fumble? And Brown oh, nope. Turns the good run. To 50, to the 40, good run. To the 30. And finally hauled down by Kendall. They got two timeouts. And that'll just about do it. McDaniel. Oh, yeah, it's over with. Okay. Solid game for both teams. Out. Pretty competitive. Uh. Boy, Ezukama was nice, man. So I'm definitely looking forward to see how he uh gets involved uh in the regular season. You know, with them having speed receivers, he looks very much like a you know possession type, uh, good hands, uh, solid size. So he gonna add a different element there, so he can definitely get some play time because it's like when you have to switch it up and you have to adjust, you need different type of players. You know, and when you're one and two are both speed guys, even though Tyreek Hill can make all the catches and. You know, um, run all the routes. You know, you want somebody. You want somebody there is a little different as well. So, uh, we'll end it there. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit that like button for me. Also, subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we got a good one here. Got a good one. All right, we got the uh, Steelers versus Jaguars, man. Let's see. Let's see. What's going on, y'all? We're back with another reaction video today. We have the Steelers versus the Jaguars preseason week two highlights. Um, it's been a pr pretty solid week two. Um, I can say it's been pretty solid. Some good games. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit the like button for me. Also, subscribe. Drop a comment down below. If you want to catch live reactions, hit the link in the description. Follow me on Twitch. Going live weekly. Uh, again, hit the like button. Support the channel. Comment down below some rookies y'all want to see me react to. And uh, yeah, man, we'll jump into it. Tight end slides in motion for Mitch Trubisky, the one-time Bill and Chicago Bear. Pocket collapsing, he launches this one. He's got an open receiver. It's Chris Claypool. He makes the connection near right, the forty-five Chase. yard line, and he's down to the forty-two Mad in Jacksonville territory. The slot receiver traffic. is going to run a fade to the outside. He has all this. Beat him off the line immediately. He has really a huge margin for error. Here's the handoff of the Jaguars meet the back two yards, maybe three deep in the backfield. Foley Fatukasi was the first one there to put the hit on Benny Snell Jr. And here's the toss to Snell. So Benny starting the game. What a nice oh, jeez. Good swarm by the um. Set it up for Trayvon Walker. Arden Key, the free agent signing from San Francisco. Jags defense. That boy Trayvon looked like he's going to be nice. He's oh, yeah. Hit by Arden Ooh, Key. And sacked at the 31-yard line. You can see it. You can already see what they're putting together. Arden Key. Arden Key is a problem for guards on the inside. They see him quick with the hands. He wins immediately with an arm over move. Too much speed, too much size up front for the Jack. I forgot about Clavon Chase on. How, how, if you're a Jacks fan, how would you. Ooh, jeez. How would you uh, rate his performance and trajectory? We got some starters in here. Four receivers for Lawrence. Pressure coming. He's on the run out. He's going to run for this first down. He's going all the way to the 40 yard line and stepping out of bounds. Is TJ hurt? Seven. Trevor Lawrence sees this right away. That's why he flees the pocket. like he was jogging. All defenders are locked like, up back to the quarterback. Did he Trevor just know Lawrence he couldn't catch him? Back door. We talk about his athleticism. It allows him to add another dimension to this offense. This is a 53 yarder from the hold of Logan Cook, and the kick is up on the way. And over a good kick. It's a good kick. This one. And the Jaguars grab it early. Chase on got potential. Lead. The Steelers might want to account for him. What well, is going to be like his third year, huh? Trevor, under pressure, turns and fires. And this one's caught by wow. the Jones at the 39-yard line. Over wow. the outstretched arms of the defender. But that would have been a nice pick. That was so close. That was a good, good pass by Trevor. You're here. Uh, scouts talk about layering the football, meaning being able to throw oh it my over gosh, the top that of was the nice. to your desired target. That was a terrific throw. Cam Sutton, <laughs> he said, should pick that ball off. I like that. Thirty-five yard line. Lawrence looks left, turns and throws, and he's got a man. Christian Kirk at the fifteen-yard line turns up the field between two defenders and has got the twelve. Here's Santosa with what would seem like a chip shot, twenty-five-yard attempt, and he is two of three on the night. Kick, the kick. Go up six nothing. How about an eight-minute drop? Lawrence with time turns and slings it, and he's got a receiver, and it is caught by Christian Kirk. 
diving at the 47 yard line and pulling that one in. The money man. Pressure coming. There's a quick toss in the air. Oh, hey, got a nice receiving core, bro. I forgot about Pat Fryer. Me. I think he's going to be a. That's a great throw. That's a great throw with touch timing. Like their next best tight end for the uh, for the Steelers because they used to have a guy. I can't remember his name. All right, Benny. Who's that, uh, that older uh, tight end that the Steelers used to have? He was really nice, man. Really, really nice. That was like during their Super Bowl era. Catches out of backfield. Ah, it breaks up the top. It looks like a touchdown. Yeah, that looks like a touchdown to me too. Delay of game. Offense number 16. Five yard penalty. First down. Was a little off. Let's see what he's got. The so they had starters play the whole first the half. High end over end punt, and this one is going to bounce at the five. Oh my! Nice. 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 They bounce it back into the field of play. Three receivers drew off in the shot. Oh, the pressure hit as he throws, and the ball just sails out of bounds. And Dewan Smoot was all Keith Miller, thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah, he was nice. I think uh, I think Pep Farmy could be that that type of guy for them. Because he was in the pocket. The rule is you. Yeah, but he's in the pocket, right? But you don't know if there was a. Receive a round. That's what they're having. Look. Jaguars started five of eight, but they are 0 for three on their last three attempts. Going back to the end of the second quarter, pocket collapsing. There's a quick throw. Catches. Mm. Oh goal. my God. Just got it across the 45. Ooh, tackles across midfield, and there's a key first down for C.J. Beathard to the second team offense. He's the one taking the punishment. You got it. Here's the handoff to Rock Armstead. Tries to dance okay. his way to the outside. Okay. He's going backwards, okay. reversing field, yeah, okay. spinning and turning. Uh, and there's flags everywhere. He tried. You know, it's good to just get out there, get a feel for the game, and a good, good starting point. You know, obviously, you guys did a lot of good things, but you only scored six. Run points. game may so really be going too crazy for either team. We'll like they're both playing solid run defense. Here's the handoff, and no, oh, oh, nothing over. doing. They've oh, got it. Oh, my. Oh, he was so close. Uh, that last move, I don't think he needed to do. He was close. Watch this one. What a move by Olszewski. Oh, that's Gunner. Right there. Oh, no, he, he had to. That was a great, great, great play by the defender. At the 48 yard line, here's CJ Beathard. Cash it in. This is shot zone. Play action. Shot he steps, zone. turns, and throws. And he's got Dan on the 35 yard line in Steelers territory. And he's brought down to the 34. CJ Beffin, the receiver, has to be. They have to be on the same page to make this happen. Look for Laquan Treadwell at the bottom of your screen. He's a leaper. He's coming off the edge. There's Beffin, wants to throw. Now he's going to run. Go ahead. Go ahead. Easy money. That was nice. Beffin didn't see anything he liked, so he took it himself. Zero, got a little man coverage. Everyone's there, so now the quarterback is unaccounted for. C.J. Beathard being resourceful and finding a way to get to the end zone. Tough guy, custom tailored group events. And here's the kickoff from Santoso, and it is fielded by McFarland at the 10-yard line, and he is off one uh -oh. return man. One coverage guy, I should say, and he tight ropes the sideline to the 35. To eat into the 15 7 advantage, the kick is up on the way, and from 38 yards, it is okay. good. First impressions of him making the leap to the NFL, something you did a year ago. Uh, you know, he's doing phenomenal. Uh, you know, he's he learning uh, next to a guy named Josh Allen. He's been. Oh, my. Good play. They got Tim Jones, if they can do some play by play here if you get in the end zone, yeah. maybe. <laughs> there you go, good offensive play. Sorry to interrupt oh, you. Yeah, but um, you know, Trey Ball's doing phenomenal, learning fast, being able to make it happen. You can see him settle in the middle of the field. Boom! It's not just coming back. Made a defender. Ball, made two defenders. Made three. He's done that on two occasions. You have to like that. But overall, that was nice. Theme standpoint. Here's 35. Jaguars, eight of 16. 50% on third down. That's a great number. Pressure coming. There's a quick toss. Oh, no. oh my gosh. It was intercepted, and this one's going back. Is that Justin Lane? And finally, the oh. Steelers defensive back. It was a good game. Oh, I'm not, oh, they still, it, that was Justin Lane who took it all oh, the way back. Oh, yes, it's, it's, on, it's on Steelers now. It's on Steelers. Okay. 
stopped him. Of the second half, what they did at the end of the first. I was, in my head, I'm thinking uh, we'll take a break, he threw the game away, but to TIAA Bank Field with a pretty solid return too. To in the second half, he's got his own 40. Still has opportunity to win. Time to throw slings. He's got a man and Ooh. breaks a tackle. Makes a move to the inside of the 35 and is carrying defenders to near the 27 yard line. 25 yard completion on first the route good move who is this by Taliban's makes the first time they don't make who's 80 to a big play for the Pistons here's Rudolph looking left again and he goes oh, right gosh. back to the well and Bond breaks another tackle and is finally out of bounds at the he changed his number line. they may give it forward progress to the six that's the exact same play wow one on one there we go a little bell coverage too much he's smooth I ain't gonna lie on the outside and then Oh, able to get guys down. <laughs> he is smooth. Like yeah, I think last week he had a different number. Rudolph looks, turns and throws. He's got oh his my. He takes it just inside the goal line. And the Steelers oh, nice. have a 16 15 oh, nice. lead. With one the announcer was heartbroken. Yeah, that made me feel like the Jags just lost the game or something. Like they was on a game winning drive when he, when he, was, when he said, NG he's like, oh no. Just couldn't keep up with Steve. You made me forget what the score was for a second. It's almost the up here. He bounced back after a critical mistake. Here he is in the pocket to throw, and now he wants to try to run, and that was a mistake. He'll go down at the 21 and lose. Can you step up and make a play? He was number 80 last week with a game winner. Really? I don't remember him wearing wearing 80 last week. He's got a man, and there's Kevin Austin, the young draft undrafted rookie. I'm gonna have to look it up. I, I don't remember him wearing 80 last week. That was pretty wild. For the win. For the win. It was one last week and one this week. Game winning kick. No time left on the clock and they missed it. Uh, not this team. I, I, who, I forgot who else did it last week, but it was another team that did it last week. Wow. Um. Good game. Good game. A very competitive game. I like that. That was that was a refresher one to watch. Very refreshing. Um. Drop a comment down below, man. Appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the like button for me. Stay tuned. Stay blessed.